I put on way too much perfume, always. Sue me. Greetings, internet. Welcome back to another vlog. Hello, hello. I am raspy right now because my allergies are kicking my butt. I woke up this morning and like could not clear my throat. I don't feel actually ill. It's funny. It's just like, it's very clearly allergies. Like my eyes are itchy. Yeah, it's just, it's spring. Spring has sprung and the allergies have come with it. Um, but it's gonna be a great week. I'm actually leaving for Charleston in a couple of days for a bachelorette party. So a lot of this week is going to be prep for that. Non-work wise, it'll be a lot of prep. Like I'm gonna do another packing list and map out my outfits per day like I did in London or for London because that was so helpful. So I'm gonna do that, we're gonna do it together. I got my fun highlighters, it's gonna be fun. Get real organized and then what else? Right now I'm actually running out to an event at Muji, which is my favorite pen store. They have other things there. They actually sell clothes as well, but they make my favorite pens. So they're doing a preview of like the new spring collection and their grand reopening of their Fifth Avenue store. So Jack is meeting me up there, supportive boyfriend, supporting my love of pens. Um, and then afterwards, we're going to trivia. There's trivia night at this bar in the Lower East Side. And Danielle organized a little group of us to go play trivia. I am actually extremely good at trivia. Not to toot my own horn or to jinx myself. Um, and I'm not really sure who's coming. I think it's a few of Danielle's friends. And then us, Jack and I, Danielle and Ryan, whoever else, random members of New York City. Um, and it should be fun. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a good night. I'm gonna be pretty chill. I don't think I'm gonna drink, given the allergies of it all. I think I'm just gonna drink some Diet Coke maybe. Yeah, I need to be pretty chill before Charleston because I wanna be 100% like feeling great for my friend Jillian. I'm actually in her wedding, so I'm very excited. This is my only my second bachelorette I've ever been on. This is my first ever time in Charleston. So hopefully I can squeeze some clips into this vlog. I think I definitely will be able to, um, but I wanna focus on her, of course, so I'm not really gonna you know, try my hardest to get like a gazillion clips of Charleston, but I'm very, very excited. I have all my outfits ready, I'll show you guys. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are here for another vlog on my channel. I'm gonna put on my little ballet flats, my easy walking shoes. I'm wearing this necklace, K necklace from Astrid and Mayu. This dress I think is J. Crew, like old, few years old. It's 71 degrees in the city randomly right now, so outfits are hard. Outfits are hard. I'm gonna wear this, and then I think I'm just gonna do my trench over top, and bars are usually kind of on the warmer side, so I won't really need a jacket or anything while I'm in there. I do need deodorant. I just realized I need that. Anyway, I'm gonna put my shoes on, pack my purse, deodorant, and then head to the subway and to the event. Okay, I got halfway out the door before realizing that my silver shoes just simply did not go with my outfit. So, <laughs> I switched. I switched to the black version for these ballet flats. I have them in two colors. I have the black and the silver, and they're so comfy from Dolce Vita. So I have my trench coat on, of course. Lightweight linen trench, not super hot for this time of year. And I'm just gonna take it off the second I get there. Um, and I have this little rented purse it kind of like brings a little bit of spring into the outfit. Makes it a little bit less wintry. And this little purse is from Rent the Runway. And I think I might buy it because I'm obsessed with it. I love anything with this sort of hardware situation on the top. And the straps, you can tuck them inside and just kind of hold it like a clutch. How adorable is that? I love the crochet. I'm bringing this to Charleston. I rented it for that, but I kind of want to test her out tonight. Yeah, okay. Anyway, now I'm heading out the door. Now I'm texting Jack I'm on my way. Yeah, <laughs> because I am on my way. Okay, let's go. I'm on my way home from yoga. 
gonna grab a smoothie. But first, I'm recording this the week before Taylor's album comes out, but I need to go say hi to her Cornelia Street home because Tortured Poets, I have a feeling a lot of these songs are about things that happened when she lived here. So it's only right. And it's on my walk home. There she is in all of her glory. Okay guys, so I just got back from yoga and this is so exciting. I was on Instagram yesterday just perusing my feed and I follow a couple of different antique vintage stores in Brooklyn. I feel like when it comes to vintage and like antique thrift stores, Brooklyn is a hub of just all of these amazing hidden gems. And I saw Yesterday's News, which is one of the um, thrift stores over there, Yesterday's News Brooklyn, if you guys are looking on Instagram, they listed this piece. It was posted for, I think, like four minutes. And in that time, I decided I needed it. I decided I needed it, so I Venmoed them immediately, set up a mover, and less than 24 hours later, here I am with it in my apartment. They delivered it from Brooklyn. I could have picked it up, I guess, but it's very fragile, so I was like, you know what? Let me let the professionals do it, pay a little extra. It actually wasn't that expensive for what it is. It's an early 1900s, like 1920s or so bookshelf. And I need to show you guys the best part about it. Very fragile, so I'm gonna move it. Very carefully move this gorgeous piece. Okay, so this is it. This is what it looks like. Let me get like a little close up. It's kind of like a magic trick. Okay, so this is the part that really sold me. So you could put things inside of it and it goes up like that. I am just obsessed with how it looks. I love that it's vintage. Love that it has a story to it. I wonder who had this before me. It's very cool to think about that. So yeah, I'm gonna style it somewhere. I think, I think my vision is bringing it upstairs and putting my shoes and things in it, like having, a, having it on a wall upstairs. But then again, I don't know. I might be able to find a place for it down here. I don't know. I'm gonna play around with it. My, my strategy was let me buy this and then I'll figure out later where to put it. <laughs> so I just love that it has such a story to it. I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna get all the dust off of it, Windex it, and get it sparkling. But yeah, introducing my new, newest addition to the apartment. She's gorgeous, I love her. So as one does after they buy a piece of furniture, I've been just wandering around the apartment trying to visualize different places where it can go. The apartment's kind of a jumbled, not like a mess, but things are like places right now, so disregard that. But I was thinking of putting it where my bar cart is right now and honestly just getting rid of the bar cart because I really don't use it that much. Like the liquor in it, I'll save the stuff that isn't expired because honestly I haven't gone through it in a while and find places for it or give it away, like give gifts to people. But really, I don't make that many drinks in the apartment, so it just kind of takes up space. So I measured, and it would fit perfectly, but I think it would look really nice over there, especially because my cabinetry is kind of on the darker side, like darker brown, um, and it kind of, I think it would go well with the black because it actually has little black hardware. So I think it could go there. I was thinking of bringing it upstairs and putting it next to my bed, like next to my bedside table, but I just feel like it's it's a piece that I want people to see and not many people would go up into my bedroom, so still toying around with it. I'm gonna get some wood cleaner. I've just used some light kind of all-purpose spray, but I don't wanna damage it, so I'm gonna get some wood cleaner to properly clean it, like fully, fully. Um, but I love her, she is gorgeous. I love like a piece of history in my apartment. It's very me. Um, I texted pictures to Jack and he goes, that is so you. So my hair is nice and greasy from hot yoga, but my gray hairs are really bugging me and I don't have an appointment to go see my hair girl until after Charleston next week. Desperate times, call for desperate measures, also known as box dye. 
I'm going to just simply, very simply, dye just right here where my roots are, like right, or my, my part is rather, where like these sparkly bits really shine. And you might not even be able to see them. I feel like it's something that really only I notice, but it really does bug me. And so I've decided I'm just gonna go for it right along here. And if I royally mess it up, my hair girl will fix me up when I go next week. But at least in Charleston, I will have no sparkly bits staring at me. So I'm using this Clairol Root Touch-Up. It's like specifically made for root touch-up, so it's not going to be, my mom uses this, so it's not extremely daunting. Um, like the actual dye that you would like, you know, put on your whole head, it's not like that. It's just specifically for the roots. I've never tried it before, so this will be um, interesting, but it comes with this little uh, bowl that you mix up the stuff in. You just paint it onto your hairs like that. So it appears I let it sit for 10 minutes and then I wash it out. So that's good, nice and quick. I do, I'm desperate for a shower after yoga, so I am excited that this is a short process. So yeah, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna put on these, they gave me gloves. I'm glad I'm doing this kind of early because I'm getting a spray tan later today. Just doing all the to-dos before Charleston. Spray tan, I need to obviously pack. There we go. Smells like the stuff my hair girl uses, so that's comforting. Is it bad to get it in my part? Oh no, oh no, it's on my face. Okay, I got a little bit of dye on my face, but <laughs> besides that, so the dye is on my hair. I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and then Wash it out. Okay. I think I have a lot left, but I did all I need to do. When I was packing for Charleston, I had two things to keep in mind. First of all, and most importantly, I was going to celebrate the bachelorette of my friend Jillian. Jillian is one of my oldest friends. We became very close in high school and have been close ever since. And you might even remember seeing her on my channel back in the high school days. So I was so excited to go celebrate her. But I was also going a day early to Charleston before the bachelorette began to spend a bit of time with my friend Clara. So while I was packing, I kept all of the events, all of the things that I was doing in mind, and then simply just figured out an outfit for each of those things. Pretty simple, but writing it out like this was so helpful for me, and this is the way I'm going to do it moving forward. So I wrote out my packing list, of course, and I have to say, everything I brought, I wore, and I didn't feel like I didn't have enough when I was there, so I really think this was a good strategy. And just like that, I found myself in Charleston, South Carolina, for the very first time. <laughs> Welcome to Clara's Hello. house. The golf cart clips. I'm taking the infamous golf cart. Options. Welcome to Clara's house. You've probably seen it before. Have to show Polly. Hello, Polly. It's your big She's the real queen of the house. How do you know if she's yeah, happy? To, How do you know if she's in a good mood? Well, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't. And the thing is, is. She can't see out of the front. Like she can only see out of the sides where her eyes are. So sometimes when you think she's looking at you, she's like, hey, look, <laughs> not like Anyway, we're here in Charleston. This is my first I'm time. So excited. First stop in Charleston is Clara's home. And now As it should be. Where are we going? We we might not have time. Okay, if we can't make it to my favorite coffee shop today, we're going tomorrow morning. Okay. But we're gonna get some coffee and then I'm gonna take her to King. Well, we can even just do like a golf cart tour right now and then you can decide where you want to spend. I like, like a tour. Yeah. I like a yeah. tour because I've literally never been here. I've been to South Carolina, but I've never been to Charleston. I've been to Columbia. Oh. My sister went to school there. Oh, okay. That's why. Okay, so that we're going on a tour. Obviously, I'll bring you guys along. I think my neck necklace mm -hmm. is backwards. All right, let's go. This is how Clara locks the golf cart. And you hope for the best. <laughs> Got our coffees. 
strategizing where to go. I think we're going to the battery. Honestly, like it's cornhole kind of. <laughs> so now these pop out. And the object of the game is like you put into mine and every time you get one in, like it closes. Like it's a mixture of like Pong and Okay. Pong. Okay. Is anything amiss? So I came down, I mean, I'm actually wearing <laughs> striped sweater as well. And I go, Clara, wow, striped sweater. She goes, it's not a sweater. Explain what it is. It's like a T-shaped piece of fabric. So it's not like you can't put it on. Like this is, it's a scarf. How crazy is that? But it's good because it's like not bulky. No, it's perfect. Like, and these are super long, like probably the sleeves than a sleeve would even be. Don't like the sleeves always look weird. And you know what? Sometimes it's not flattering. Like yeah. it feels bulky. Like you're like pulling at it. Like it stays on. No, that's good. The best if you do get cold, the best you can do is like little blanket. Well, but still okay. I need to find a link for that for myself cool. selfishly. I'm wearing my stripes as well. I'm wearing red Reformation dress, and then just in case it gets chilly. And we're going to dinner. Let's do it. First. Come on. Hey Siri, put on big booty mix. <laughs> this is Jillian the bride. Hello. It's like, hi, I'm the bride, and I think so and so is gonna get the drunkest tonight. Oh, oh. oh. Wait, you know which videos I actually really like where they're like, hi, this is me after one drink. Then... Oh, we should do it. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Hi. Oh. <laughs> We're already at like oh. Hi. <laughs> hi, this is us at four drinks. Four. It's 8:30. Okay. <laughs> Proof. <laughs> Proof. Just go. It's your who says it? It's eight fifty nine. So on night it. one. <laughs> you have Jess to introduce yourself. Get, oh, hi, I'm Jaxie. Julian's sister. She's the maid of honor. Um, I think Jess is gonna be at the drug test. Is that one? <laughs> this is me after nine drinks. <laughs> I'll check back in at twenty five. <laughs> We've had a pool day, now we're gonna Wow. Now we're gonna do some Casamigos shots. Look how cute they are. Where'd you get these little labels? I made them. You made them? Yeah. How? On um Canva and then did it. Are you kidding? And then we're tatted up. Oh yeah, and we got some. We're talking. Talk now you guys crushed love. it with all of these like things. And the theme is Mars and Matrimony, as seen on the custom napkins. <laughs> and stickers. And the stickers. Incredible. <laughs> to be honest, I've never taken a tequila shot in my life. Oh <laughs> do you oh. not want to take a tequila shot? I do not. So, I'm gonna take my <laughs> <laughs> You could take a vodka shot. Now, uh, where is that? Yeah, <laughs> that <laughs> big handle. Look, it's know? massive. Here, here's your shot. Get this from Leonard Shop. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. oh Jimmy, Craig. Well, less for me to drink. Great. Jill, do you think that's a shot? There you go. Come on, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. wow. Cheers to Cheers, me cheers too. to Jillian. <laughs> Last, well, it isn't your last weekend. My fiesta. The final fiesta. Of, yeah, you know. Yeah. For the sake yeah. of free marriage. Free marriage. My gosh. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you were guzzling that as if it was. I thought you drank the whole thing. Okay, like a baby shot. That was delightful. Here's limes. I'm so happy. It doesn't taste like anything. <gasps> wow. Katie was 
thought that. Are you chasing, chasing with milk? <laughs> <laughs> Scale milk. Cutting.